Hello everyone, today I will be analyzing the possible plastic surgery procedures of the members of NCT Dream along with Shotaro and Sungchan. I have done an analysis on both He Chan and Mark in my NCT 127 plastic surgery analysis video. This video was requested in the comment section of my NCT 127 plastic surgery analysis video. If you have any requests which group you want to see me analyze, please leave it in the comments. I think plastic surgery is neither bad or good, and celebrities has immense pressure to look as good as they possibly can which can be helped by plastic surgery. I think it will be a healthier environment if celebrities in general are more open and honest about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures that they've done, or at least not lie about it, so the general public can see that beauty is attainable through plastic surgery. I know there's a stigma around plastic surgery all around the world, but people need to realize that it's pretty common among celebrities, as it's demanded by society that celebrities look perfect, so we shouldn't blame them if they resort to plastic surgery. I want this video series to be a form of discussion between people who are interested in the possible procedures celebrities had, and break the negative sentiment around plastic surgery. A few disclaimers before we begin. I'm not a plastic surgeon, nor have I gotten plastic surgery, so my knowledge in this area is limited. These are just my speculations and not facts. I have no idea about the member's medical history, and these are just my speculations, so you can respectfully disagree. This post is not meant to send hate to the members, as they are probably pressured by the industry to look as good as they possibly can. With that out of the way, let's get started. Ranjin has a lot of adorable pretty photos online. He didn't look to have changed much. To me, his eyelids are more defined and consistent now. We can also see that the distance between his eyebrows and eyes have decreased slightly. He may have gotten ptosis repair. When a person has ptosis, or when the eyelid muscles are not strong enough to open the eyes fully, their eyebrows are usually higher to compensate for the weak eyelid muscles. And I think he got this problem fixed which is why his eyebrows are closer to his eyes now. His nose bridge looks slightly higher now, but I personally think his nose is likely natural as it doesn't have clear straight lines and noses tend to get larger and more projected as a person age. He is confirmed to have fixed his teeth using lingual braces. In conclusion, I think Ranjin likely got ptosis repair. He has always been handsome. I like his teeth before the braces, but it's probably more convenient for him to have straight teeth. He looks great regardless. Moving on to Jeno. Jeno has adorable pretty big photos online. He has always had the same infectious smile. I don't see changes to his face that are likely due to plastic surgery. He lost facial fat, his bone structure became stronger, and his nose became larger with age. These are the normal progressions in the aging process. In conclusion, I think Jeno is likely natural. He has always looked amazing his entire life. He is truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Jemin. Jemin also has a lot of adorable pretty photos online. He has always been handsome. His nose looks slightly slimmer now. He likely got a rhinoplasty to achieve this look. The possible procedure was really well done. It wasn't overdone, and his nose fits the proportions of his face nicely. He lost facial fat, which is probably due to the natural aging process. In conclusion, I think Jamin likely got a rhinoplasty. He has always looked amazing. I love his big bright smile. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Chen Le. Chen Le has interesting pretty big photos online. He seems to look the most different now compared to the pretty big photos out of the members so far. His eyes look larger now. I think he got his outer eye corners cut. I think this way because the shape of his outer eye corners is different compared to the pretty big photos. His current eye corners are straighter, while it used to be slightly slanted upwards. We can also see more of the reds of his eyes on the other corners. He lost a lot of facial fat throughout the years which I think is caused by the natural aging process. In conclusion, I think Chen Lu got his outer eye corners cut. He really grew up a lot since his pretty big days and has always looked amazing. I love his big smile. Moving on to Jisung. Jisung has a lot of pretty big content online. 
He didn't seem to change at all since childhood. His nose looks unnaturally thin, projected, straight, and upturned. But when you see his pre-debut photos, his nose has always looked similar to how it looks like now. Noses do tend to get larger and more projected as children age, so I think his nose is natural. He lost facial fat, which is also a natural aging process. In conclusion, I think Jisung is likely natural. He didn't seem to change at all. He has an amazing nose that looks like it was operated on. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to the non-NCT Dream members. Shotaro used to be a TikTok star, so we have a lot of pre repeat content of him. As far as I know, plastic surgery is not as common in Japan compared to South Korea, so I count his pre repeat photos as reliable before photos. It's interesting to see his image change completely after debuting in NCT. He has a similar nose with Jisung, where it looks like it was operated on, as it is upturned and projected. But his nose has always looked the same in the pre debut photos. I think his nose is slightly natural. His eyes look slightly larger vertically now, and he has slight double eyelids. He may have gotten double eyelid surgery. I think this way because when his eyes are not fully open, we can see a clear consistent line on his eyelid crease, which is usually a sign of double eyelid surgery. It's also possible that this was achieved using eyelid tape. In conclusion, I think Shotaro possibly got double eyelid surgery. He looks amazing both pre debut and now. I love his adorable smile. He's truly blessed with good looks. Last but not least, we have Sung Chan. Sung Chan has a lot of adorable pre debut photos online. He has always been handsome and didn't seem to change much. He lost facial fat and fat on his upper eyelids, which is probably the natural part of the aging process. His nose bridge looks to be slightly higher, especially in the middle of his nose bridge. I think he likely got a nose implant in that area to make his nose slightly more projected. Other than that, I don't think I see changes to his face that are likely due to plastic surgery. In conclusion, I think Sung Chan likely got a rhinoplasty. He looks amazing both pre-debut and now. I hope both Shotaro and Sung Chan can debut in a permanent unit soon. Remember, when I do these analysis, I'm always at the neutral position. I don't think plastic surgery is bad nor good. So let's not spread unnecessary hate towards the members or my opinions. I hope anyone watching this takes this post in a positive way and realize that plastic surgery is not a bad thing. You need to understand that K-pop idols and other celebrities have a lot of pressure to look good. So it's not a bad thing if they resort to plastic surgery as it is demanded by society. As I stated in the beginning, this is not meant for fuel to send hate towards the members. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one.